just getting set up here. A little early, I was going to try another service, but it seems like it's <clears throat> not working out so well with the audio. Um, hey, Jonathan. We're just uh, getting a sound, little sound check here. I was trying to use, I was going to use another app to get um, some other stuff going on, but uh, we're going to just be setting this up. Hey, all. We're, we're setting up a little bit early here. Why not? And kind of get my cameras together. I'm going to remember actually. Oh, I don't know if I can do this switch. Um, let me try to do this. I'll be right back. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. Uh, unless maybe I can do that here. Oh, yeah. I don't have to sign off. I'm switching the screen around. This is how I'm actually looking right to left. Okay. Hey, Jesse. That service wasn't going to work so well, so we're just getting set up. How's the sound? And can you see my hands okay from over here, from that camera? The text is blocking it a bit. Sounds great. Good to hear. switch this back then maybe it's more important that my hands are not reversed than my face being reversed that's probably straight it straightens it out right get it all set up here I'm gonna be a little bit to the side because I want you guys to see we're getting close to splitting the screen so you're gonna have an overhead on the hands soon. Get this going here. Let's see. That's right. That's better, yeah? <laughs> cool. Let me see. I've got a lot of technical things going on here. What if I raise this up a little bit? Old school. That better? Oh, look at that. Everything's oriented right. You're seeing me super close up, but you'll just have to tolerate that. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming to my sound check, everyone. This is what we do, you know, when we're on tour. <coughs> you don't really see this stuff. Usually it's not a, a video thing that we're setting up, but... um. You know, sound, getting the mics straight, the monitors, levels, and all that kind of thing. Um, so you're kind of wandering into the sound check here. Like uh, someone's here from Italy. Uh, how you doing? And, uh, um, like in Casa del Jazz in Rome, which is uh, a beautiful venue. Hope to return there soon. So sound is getting good. You're hearing the pre-show music. <laughs> yeah, they are nice little mics.
like the uh, entering the hall music, you know? They don't, they don't usually do that in the hall, but in a club they usually have the music playing. They also take your tickets at the door um, when you pay a cover charge. We haven't uh, done that kind of thing here, but actually I'm going to be a little bit more forward this time in uh, encouraging everybody to, you know, like on Bleecker Street, they used to be like, did you come here to, ke did you come here to hear Kevin? And like on uh, the Bitter End or one of those clubs on Bleecker. And you'd say, yeah, yeah, I'm here to see Kevin, my friend Kevin. So then they say, well, that's $10. And uh, usually you'd have an issue with the artist with the club saying, man, I, I thought I had, you know, like 40 people come. And no, some of those were for the other band. So there's no other band here. So um, if you guys feel like, you know, being the first in um, to, to, uh, to pay the cover charge at the door, which we're, you know, we're not enforcing, but uh, since... Um, I'm not really on the road right now, and there's no gigs. Um, you'd be definitely uh, contributing to the music cause. And it always feels good to do that. I feel like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Doesn't that feel good, everyone? To give money to Kevin? <laughs> it's a little weird to be directly asking you guys, but um, you've left me no choice. <laughs> Thank you. entering the hall, <clears throat> getting their drinks or their programs.
and please send to all mankind understanding and peace of mind. But if it's not asking too much, please send me someone to to get along Peace will enter when hate is gone But if it's not asking too much Please send me someone to love I lie awake nights and ponder the world trouble That answer is always the same. That endless men put an end to this damnable sin. Hate will put the world in a flame. What a shame. Just because I'm in misery. I don't beg for no sympathy And if it's not asking too much Please send me someone to love Send me someone to love
Smith doing? Welcome to the show. Um, really happy you could be here, and I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are. Um, I'm always trying to um, up the technology part of this. I'm sort of a I'm sort of a geek in that way. I got a lot of wires, a lot of boxes. Don't use them all all the time. Well, sometimes I do, and it's probably overdoing it. But um, so we got the mirrored camera here. Um, I almost, I'm so close, I thought it was going to happen this time where I could get the keyboard shot from above and this and, and uh, we can split the screen, but we're working on that. Um, so again, thanks for coming down to uh, Club Kevin. <laughs> and um, if you're enjoying the music, uh, we're asking if you just uh, pop over to one of those links you see, Jesse's given uh, given some links there under some at the top and I'll remind you this is sort of our uh, gentle way of saying help we're not on the road we're not in a jazz club we're um, all helping each other get through so anyway really appreciate whatever you can you can give and um, I'll play some more music for you we always play uh, I we yeah Sometimes I am calling myself we these days. I think there's more than one in there. Um, a Wayne Shorter song. And um, this is one of my favorite songs of his. Um, this is his ESP. Let's see how it goes.
the memory bank on that one. <laughs> Squeak by by the skin of my teeth on that melody. That's a tricky one. <laughs> oh man, Rogerio, Lucato. I've been meaning to reach out to you. I got I got I got some work for you, man. Great percussionist. We're working on a. Um, I can't really talk to this guy because he's my special guest. Oh dear. Thank you, Jesse. Sorry, the vocal mic was off. Um, coming back. Thank you, that was uh, ESP. I was just saying um, hey to Ray Rogerio. Um, and I, that I got a, a little gig for him. I'm working on a video. I can't really talk too much about it because there's a bunch of special guests that different things have to be arranged to make it legal or something. But uh, anyway, Rogerio, I want you in there on there, please. Actually, I posted it. Maybe I can play a little bit of it. That's a little song um, that I, I dedicated to the late, um, great 
uh, Lyle Mays, keyboardist, composer extraordinaire who, who died earlier this year. I don't, I don't think it was, I don't think it was COVID related actually, but um, yeah, Rogerio, we, we need you on that. <laughs> and anyway, um, I was just thinking about him and I came across this incredible song that he wrote uh, and my good friends Bill Charlap and Rini Rosnes recorded. Uh, what's the name of that? It's a Brazilian title, um, but just an amazing composer. Of course, played for years with Pat Metheny and the Pat Metheny Group. Um, <coughs> I also, um, I just interviewed, uh, I did my first interview as, a, as, a, as an interviewer um, for the great, um, with the great Gregoire Marais who stopped in last time. And Gregoire spent uh, probably a year or more, I guess, um, the way Pat tours on the road with Pat Metheny Group, and we, had, we talked about his experiences. And uh, so I'm, I'm sort of editing that down and um, thinking of uh, interviewing a bunch of my friends, musicians that I've had the pleasure and honor of working with. And um, yeah, if you guys have any uh, requests for that, um, that project, uh, let me know. You know, if there's any artists that maybe I've worked with that I can like call them up and say, "Hey, you want to talk? Would you talk to me?" <laughs> um, you know, in more detail about your life and stuff. So, anyway, um, lots of projects are being birthed here. Okay, um, commercial announcement. Please uh, give a little give a little uh, cover charge at the door. Money used to be a kind of a taboo thing. Maybe it still is among, especially among jazz musicians. I don't know, but I just remember, you know, like sometimes you get a gig in New York and you kind of get a, a they look at you with an alarm if you ask what it paid. Probably because it paid so little. Um, usually it was, you know, the uh, the the hunt the, the yard they used to call it a yard. A yard means a hundred dollars, and. Uh, <coughs> So why even ask? Because it pays a yard, um, and uh, <laughs> that's New York, New York jazz clubs, and um, it's kind of funny. 1974. What's a gig pay? A yard. 2020. What's it, what's it pay? A yard. So no inflation, no uh, no increased living costs. <laughs> Everything it should, you know, my um, every, you know, my mortgage or or my rent, a yard. I should tell my landlord. Landlord says, "What's the rent?" A yard, but I guess that's not what that's not what he tells me. Anyway, all that stuff aside, it's kind of fun to to break the break the taboo. Chelsea, how you doing? Okay, you're not here to watch me talk about money or listen to me talk too much, so. I'm going to play. <clears throat>
Keep doing that. I turn it off because the, I turn the vocal mic off because the piano sounds better. But I need a little, I need a little better of a system, a mute switch or something, another box. I need and uh, a Pablo, great pianist, great pianist uh, Pablo Held. If you guys don't know, check him out. One of the great uh, young players on the scene out of uh, Germany. Cologne, right, Pablo? Bad mo fo. You can Google that.
to uh, do a little jazz analysis on that. And, uh, darn it. Thank you, Jesse. Can you not hear me at all, or is it soft when, I, when it's low? Yeah? Okay. I just, I can't stop turning it off because it sounds, the piano sounds so much better. You, you lose a lot of the, that room sound, which is not, not a treated room. But anyway, thank you, Jesse. Goodness, what would I do without you? Um, that was a piece by Robert Schumann that I uh, sort of retitled as, as Dupre for Jacqueline Dupre. Um, Orlando, did you ever try playing that on bass? That would be a good exercise. Basically, inaudible went off. Okay, thank you. I didn't think I'd talk so much this time, but it seems I am. Um, so I just, I love that. That I love Robert Schumann, his music, and great piano music. And uh, anyway, that's a beautiful piece. And I recorded that many years ago. I think on my first trio recording with, with uh, Doug Weiss and Bill Stewart. Um, uh, Orlando, you, you've got to hit that, that piece. Um, <laughs> grab your bow, man. I know you can do it. And uh, check out um, check out Orlando's uh, and Orlando Le Fleming, who you'll see there, is giving uh, all these workshops that are really cool. I think you got one with Lage, right, coming up. Anyway, um, I keep digressing because I see chats. This is like what happens when you look at your phone, right? Um, <laughs> hey, um, you guys, if you if you'd be so kind um, to um, See the guy taking uh, taking taking the cover charge at the door. It's it's really a suggested donation, and um, the suggestion is conscience can bear. That's the suggestion. <laughs> but anyway, if you can, um, if you, whatever you can give will be much appreciated. Um, I've resorted to to, to begging here um, in these times, and uh, anyway, I hope you're all safe and sound. Obviously, these are unprecedented times and so many you know musicians that I know um, you know are uh, you know it's just high and dry at this point I mean obviously it's not just musicians but we're so sort of reliant on literal that gig economy um, but uh, you know um, I've heard it sort of put that the musicians sort of we're gonna we're gonna be sort of the last to start playing live again because of the we can't really have people congregating, and uh, even a jazz club is is 100 and even you know 75 people or whatever. It's just too close. Um, so uh, anyway, any any support you can give, there's a there's a, a PayPal link up there, and a, and a Venmo, and a Patreon um, that I that I've set up. Um, if you want to sort of become a monthly subscriber, and I I give like exclusive content there, and um, uploading lessons and things like that. So uh, anyway, commercial over, but uh, let, that, let that stand.
Pierre says hello again. These things double back and they're sort of like uh, on, oh dear, I have to turn this down. Um, the microphone is on so you guys can all hear me, despite the preponderance of echo. And um, super fun to, uh, to play, play for you. And um, I have some other, some other tunes that I'm, 
I'm working on that I'll I'll unveil um, in a little bit. Some, I'm working on some covers actually, um, but I, I don't feel quite ready to, to give them public uh, scrutiny. <laughs> So uh, it's such an interesting thing, just sort of playing in this, like, you guys are there, and yet there's this sort of void, um, kind of spiritual. Requests. Um, Pablo, you had requested Andalusia, and um, I, uh, I did a few records for Blue Note records back in the 90s and um the, the yeah the title track of this last recording i did for them was a trio record with the great ron carter and uh and the great jack de Jeanette. um it was kind of a dream band and i was pretty nervous <laughs> going into clinton recording studios which which was interesting we had had this great um great old piano that was used on the as i recall and i could hear it i believe as soon as i hit it was uh was uh it was the piano that was used on the um columbia at recording studios and was was used on kind of blue um as i recall and if you listen if you can find that record it's pretty much out of print i think you might be able to get it on spotify or apple music it sort of pops up and then it's not there um but anyway, that's a Blue Note recording that I did called Andalusia, and that's a uh, Ernesto Lacona song, um, and a great composer. And uh, my friend, my old friend Steve Hall, uh, hit me to that tune, and it was recorded actually by Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, as I recall, and just incredible Wayne Shorter um, playing that melody. Anyway, I put some different chords to it. It's been a long time since I've played it, so um, I'll do my best to remember it, Pablo.
otherwise known as The Breeze and I. I think that's how it was uh, titled with Art Blakey um, and The Messengers. And um, this is fun. Actually, Rogerio Boccato was on the line. On the line. <laughs> Old school. On the line. We've got Rogerio Boccato on the line. Do you want to talk to him? No. Tell him I'm out. He knows you're out, but he wants to talk to you. It's the jazz position joke. We, uh, I think, recorded this song together, and his lovely daughter Anne helped me put lyrics to this, which I won't try to sing in Portuguese. Um, but this is uh, in English, Please Remember Me.
please remember me. Roger, how do you say that in Portuguese again? I'm trying to remember. Somebody can chime in. Well, uh, cheers, everyone, to your health. Water, not vodka. Hmm. That is vodka. Oh gosh. Oh, it is on. <laughs> I know it's on. I want it to be on. <laughs> Thank you. I want it sort of on and halfway on. I think if I don't have it so loud, the piano doesn't get messed up quite as much. Um, well, maybe I'll play a few more things um, for you guys. Um, again, thanks for, for hanging out and um, please um, stay safe. Follow the CDC recommendations um, and stay safe and healthy. Um. <laughs> Jesse, you. Oh dear, I hope you don't hear the blower that's going on on my heater. That's, it'll add a little white noise, but maybe we'll just incorporate that into the sound.
funny valentine. Well, maybe uh, I'll play one more for you guys. Thank you so much for um, hanging out. And um, I could kind of do this all day. It's pretty fun. Maybe I'll do a, a Kevathon marathon. I was thinking maybe, um, thinking of Jerry. Is this Jerry Lewis? Was, oh, he did a multi, multiple dystrophy. It was a long time ago. He used to have these variety shows all, like, I think days on end, and he would just raise all this money. But, um, <laughs> it's, like kind of a, it's kind of a, kind of a different thing. Anyway, um, and I'm not as funny as Jerry Lewis, if I'm thinking of the right guy. He's not the singer, he's the comedian, right? Okay, here we go. I'll play another one for you.
I think we should go for two hours. I don't think I gotta I gotta go all the way on this. We got fifteen minutes left. <laughs> A mini Kevathon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm not sure what I'll play next. Maybe I'll sing something. That was a sort of messed up Joe Henderson song that I also messed up a Charlie Parker song. I figured I'd mess up two in one in one. Um anyway, uh sorry it's kinda soft I think the, the vocal the vocal mic's low. But I'll just turn it up and uh, I'll try to try to sing something here.
jump into the fire and burn up all desire? Will I turn that key? that town but I came back all alone but you said it had been a while the banker said you'd gone cashed in all your pennies with a smile did you go back to Las Vegas to fetch that heart you lost
up north to be with you But there was no one home Walked out of town but I came back all alone But you said it'd been a while The banker said you'd gone Cashing all your pennies with a smile I can still hear your crazy laugh As we rolled on down that hill But that's all gone Now it's winter time And I lie awake Drinking cold plum wine Where are you, my sweet, sweet Caroline, oh yeah. Sweet Caroline. Oh, I think you mean Keith Jarrett. That's actually with a J, but thank you very much. He's, he's such a, a huge monolith of a pianist. And that, that doesn't sound very flexible, but it's, his playing is, is, is obviously uh, incredible. Thank you very much. It's a great compliment. Um, oh, wow. Hi, Carol. How you doing? <laughs> that one. <laughs> it's cool. It's all good. It's all good. How's Steve doing, Carol? How are you guys doing? Phoenix. Beautiful. Okay, we got one more. We got to make it to the two hour mark. Going marathon here.
I dreamt I held you in my arms When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken as I was And I held my hand And I held my head and I cried.
Are my sunshine and uh, sorry I'm, I'm real close to this camera today so I apologize for the um, ultra close uh, non social distance thing but it's video so we're, I think we're good but anyway stay safe out there thank you guys so much for uh, dialing in and uh, um, to this special edition of uh, Kevin home alone and uh, thanks again for your support. Um, again, Patreon is uh, what we're uh, doing, but um, PayPal and all these things, um, you're really helping support the music that, uh, that I'm working on. And um, I hope you will uh, take care of yourselves um, and be, be well until next week. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to playing for you guys again. And thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you soon. All right. Peace.